cauliflower cheese. Quite a simple dish, so the first thing I've done, I've cut a head of cauliflower into florets and part cooked them. So they're still nice and firm, they're not falling apart, and I've laid them in a Pyrex dish. It has to be an oven proof dish. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my white sauce, which will I'll then turn into a cheese sauce and then pour over the top. So to do that, I've got 50 grams of butter that I've melted in a pan. I've got 50 grams of flour that will then turn it into a roux, which will thicken the sauce. And I've also chopped up an onion and put it in half a litre of milk. So the onion will flavour the milk. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make my roux. So only on a low heat because the butter will burn. I've melted the butter, so I'm going to sprinkle the flour in and you need to keep stirring, otherwise it will burn very, very easy and you'll have to throw it away, that will ruin the taste. So you keep it moving all the time and you want to cook the butter and the flour so it's a sandy texture. shouldn't take too long and if you're careful you can take it out on a spoon and make sure it's a little bit let it cool when you rub it between your fingers it'll feel sandy so it'll look like that so the butter and the flour turns into a thickening agent and it feels nice and gritty and sandy the next thing I'm going to do so that's cooked I've got my roux now, I like the cheese sauce really thick on cauliflower cheese and not runny. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use a sieve because you don't want the, you want the flavour of the onions but not the chunks of onion in. So I'm just going to pop a sieve over that and I'm going to add, I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and I'm going to add the warmed milk into the roux. Put a couple of ladlefuls in first. Turn the heat up and cook that through. If you find that it's being stubborn and goes a little bit lumpy, then abandon the wooden spoon. Take a whisk and start to whisk and that will break down the roux better and it will start to smooth out, get rid of any lumps. Once that's started to cook, just be careful with the heat because it will burn very easy. And again, add a little bit more. Turn the heat up again. And you want to cook the milk into the roux so you get a nice thick white sauce. of the milk in just going to set that back to one side and then I'm going to concentrate on so that needs to be brought up to the simmer
turn the heat up. whisking it should whisk through any lumps out of it if it stays lumpy you can always pass it through a sieve but usually the heat and the whisk can make it smooth to thicken. We need to bring it up to a simmer and make sure it's all cooked through together. to thicken up like so now there is a few lumps in there so to save on washing up what I'm going to do I'm going to use the pan that I've heated the milk up in and I'm just going to pass it through the sieve and that will definitely take any lumps out I'm just going to pass that through left what will happen is you'll taste a little bit of flour you'll be able to taste the flour in it so you want it nice and smooth and everything combined I'm just going to pass that through. sometimes you're lucky and you'll end up with a nice smooth sauce first time but if not don't worry about it just save it get all that sauce off and then what we've got is a nice smooth white sauce so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to season it I'm going to use white pepper not black pepper because if you use black pepper it will turn your sauce grey a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt pinch. Don't forget you can always add a little bit more. Don't just, and always put it in the palm of your hand first. Don't just tip it in. And then stir that in. And then I'm going to add my cheese. So I'm going to turn this white sauce, what's known as a beshima, into a cheese sauce. It's the same sauce that can be used in lasagnas. So it's, the, it's quite a versatile sauce if you're working with pasta as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep stirring that in. It will change colour a little bit. You know, if you're using um, red Leicester or something like that, you don't have to use cheddar, you can use a different colour cheese. You could use Stilton. Um, whichever cheese is your favourite, you could use, put goat's cheese in um, and that will you know, depending on the colour of the cheese, it will depend on the colour of the sauce. Okay, so then we've got a nice thick cheese sauce. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to lay my cauliflower out in the dish. And the tricky bit is to make sure it 
covers all the florets. So half a litre of white sauce will cover one sort of medium head of cauliflower. So obviously if you're using more cauliflower you'll have to do more white sauce, maybe a litre, like so. I'm just going to make sure it's all covered, otherwise cauliflower does burn. Again, it's about the presentation. We get very dry florets of cauliflower, so try and make sure it's all coated. Just take a little bit of time making sure it's all covered, like so. And then what you're going to do, you're going to finish it off by sprinkling cheese on top. And that's going to go in quite a hot oven, probably around about 180 shouldn't take too long because everything's cooked you're just heating it through so probably about 15 minutes until it starts to go golden brown and there you have cauliflower cheese <laughs>